Hey, everybody. Good hey, morning. Guys. Good morning. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. So, uh, first off, like and subscribe, guys. As always, that's the first thing I'm uh, contractually obligated to say in these streams. So, uh, there we go. Uh, let's <laughs> see. Uh, who is in our Discord today? Let's see. We have uh, and and the rain, Jack Don, uh, that Rip Rock. Hey guys, Cario. Um, let's see who else is over here. Of course, Wild Gent, preparing for the ANA as always, in the coolest way. Poison, welcome guys. Natural G, I see you typing. That's a bro too. Uh, let's give it a second as people trickle in. Uh, how's everyone on stage? Awesome. Doing good. Bright eyed and bushy tailed. Yeah, we have Ninja Surprise back. You guys hey, notice I'm back. I'm finally back. Welcome yeah, anything, back. Anything to say, man, since you're back? I'm pretty happy to be back. And um, I mean, like, I while I was gone, I noticed that we completely just like changed the name of the game to Common Ground, which was uh, pretty interesting to see. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I came back. I was like, oh, the whole game changed. I was like, the, the whole name changed. Okay. You miss all the fam, uh, all the fun. But the thing is that, so that's something that we want to do. You know, like if someone's out, they're out. You know, there's no reason to <laughs> call them back, hopefully. Um, so, um, yeah, you miss all that fun uh, regarding the uh, Common Ground World uh, rebranding. Um, well, I think... Uh, I think we'll wait a couple minutes, so why don't we get started? So, uh, hey guys, welcome to the October 6th Town Hall. Uh, you know, we've been doing uh, this weekly Town Hall since uh, July last year. So, as always, we meet to share what's going on with everyone, answer some questions, talk about the community, and share news. Uh, we have some news today. Uh, as you probably know, since we, we did that the big announcement a couple days ago. Um, so, yeah, let's get, uh, let's get going and... Uh, Reminder to like and subscribe. So, what are we starting with, Miss Farmer Michelle? Oh, looks like we're starting with some headlines. Oh, my screen is all zoomed in. I can't see anything. Why do I always have technology problems during these AMAs? It's like <laughs> the absolute worst timing every single week. There we go. <laughs> Let's start okay. let's talk about the Common Ground World release first. Yeah, so that happened uh, last Friday. Um, it was, uh, overall, it was very smooth. So we didn't have, you know, uh, big drops or uh, massive failures. Um, uh, it all ran rather smoothly. So really happy with that. The whole team worked uh, together to get out of the door. Uh, we tried not to interrupt any... Um, any competitions or, you know, prevent the test competitions from happening. Uh, in the end, we did have an issue with uh, with uh, some NFTs. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Uh, but overall, it was a very clean release. Uh, we also did the um, the landing page where people can buy with credit card. You know that we have that issue with credit cards in the site, but we went around that with our landing page and uh, a lot of people have bought through there, uh, which is great. We have those two items still available, both in, the uh, gala store and in our landing page but you can buy with credit card in, in the landing page um so overall uh pretty good uh, release for common ground world you know the rebranded version of downstair um i think that the next topic is that uh, we have some news about downstart nodes so yep. that's that's the focus of the uh, uh blog post that was sent out uh, and announced a couple days ago uh, we'll go, you know, in depth into that. Um, I'm going to post the, um, oh, you know, it's in the announcement, but I'm going to put that thing here in Discord. Let's Just see. Oh, you already did. Okay. So that's great. Uh, in case you haven't checked that out, uh, please do. Uh, but very high level uh, for, um, you know, in case someone leaves <laughs> at, at this point, but very high level is that uh, we are revamping the whole node initiative. Uh, we have some rewards for people, people who have nodes that have been operating their nodes. Um, this ties heavily into earnings and tokenomics. So that's all kind of bundled together. 
Uh, we'll talk more about notes today, though, so uh, just be aware of that. And then regarding, um, uh, I think next topic is rewards. Did any rewards go out, uh, Mikhail? No, it doesn't look like the event rewards have been sent yet. Okay. So they are being processed, if I'm not mistaken. So they should be out today, hopefully, right? Yeah, I heard that the the file was still uploading this morning. So hopefully very soon. Okay, so the rewards, uh, sh you should expect the rewards for that, uh, you know, potentially today. So um, sorry for the delay, guys. Uh, there's, you know, we've been working on the all of this other stuff, um, but that should be out soon. Then uh, Mr. Ninja Surprise is, um, uh, you're back. Anything you want to share with the community on the you know social media? Yeah, a few things. Uh, so with the whole uh, change for for the game, I actually went about uh, changing the uh, the handles for the for the social media. So if you are trying to go visit the original Town Star uh, handles, uh, they're not going to work anymore. So right now for the Twitter, it's going to be. Uh, common ground uh, WLD uh, instead of world. Uh, so you could find us on Twitter there. Um, if you visit the Zealy page, since um, we post up quite a few times, you can see uh, on the quest that they've uh, at the top that they've been updated with the new links to the different social medias. So you can just follow those links and then find the other ones if you wish. Um, additionally, as you probably know, with common ground world there uh, with common ground, the movie, uh, they have this whole different initiative. They have this whole initiative that they want to push with um, basically just showcasing regenerative agriculture and the benefits that it can bring for the world ultimately. Uh, so I dove into a little bit about the movie and I found some really interesting stuff about like what they're uh, what they were discussing. So I figured that, you know, it's something that not just uh, not just like players, but everybody should really like, you know, everybody in our community should really uh, check out. So um so so really what uh, i did was i created some quests that if you would like to visit the website uh for common ground the movie and then also uh test your knowledge about uh what they are promoting and what their mission is and also some stuff about regenerative agriculture then you could go and check it out on the zealy board uh so i got some new quests up for you guys to check out about uh the common ground movie um but yeah that's mostly it and then just getting back into the swing of things with um with the social media, uh, with the social media task. Awesome, thanks. Thank you, Mr. Ninja Surprise. So it's it's great to have you back. Uh, I know the silly board is pretty cool, uh, but you know, uh, other people have been having to cover that <laughs> and you are the master of it. So uh, it's great to have you back. Man. And uh, well, regarding um, you were talking about the film and common ground, I can tell you that we are in direct conversations with the um, with the filmmakers right now. So uh, what we want to do is get kind of closer um, uh, to them uh, and discuss game mechanics, future game mechanics. So as you know, the uh, the new game mode has this soil that you have to recover. Uh, you know. Uh, that ties into the regenerative farming element, but there are more things that we can potentially do. I saw some comments from Farmer Mitchell and also from the community, like, hey, we can do CO2 uh, levels and offsets, and uh, that could be pretty cool. Um, so we are uh, in direct contact. I have a couple of meetings with them in the coming weeks. So yeah, I mean, expect more changes um, to come to that other game mode soon. Uh, Always trying to keep it kind of casual, slow paced. Uh, but yeah, very inter interesting things about uh, Common Ground and the filmmakers. Uh, what's our uh, next topic, Mr. Uh, Ms. Farmer Mitchell? Looks like tokenomics and light paper stuff. Okay, so I know that you guys have been asking about this. Um, so the, the news that we have right now are mostly about notes, but that ties into into what the plans are for tokenomics. So uh, we needed to figure out the final plan for nodes and node owners uh, because there's a, an element of, a big element of earning tied to those uh, before we could put the, uh, the finishing touches on the tokenomics model. So what I can tell you right now is that we have daily meetings with Bitvendor and other people in the company. Uh, this is uh, right now, uh, um, now that we have finished the node information, we have it out and we'll discuss it soon. Uh, our next top, top, top priority is finishing the light papers 
and getting that out to you. So expect a formal announcement, you know, very, very soon. And now we have all the information that we need. Uh, we do have those daily meetings. So yeah, I'm pushing every day to have that finalized, approved by legal and into your hands. Um, but why don't we take a little breather and let's talk about, you know, uh, what topic uh, do we have a uh, booker uh, for the next section? Did I hear Volcron? <laughs> oh, did I see Volcron? <laughs> yeah. Um, well, you know what's funny? Um, a couple weeks before we did this rebrand, I was actually I was starting to read about regenerative agriculture and planting and stuff like that on my own. And one thing I came across um, was this combo of plants. Uh, probably worldwide, it's famous, but I was introduced to it as uh, from the Iroquois, and um, it's called the Three Sisters. And it's this interesting synergy between corn, beans, and squash. As the corn grows, it provides a natural, like a pole for the beans to climb. So you don't have to build that. And then uh, the beans, uh, they provide nitrogen, uh, which normally we have to spray, you know, fertilizer for or uh, mix in fertilizer. They provide that. And then the squash provides this ground cover that kills out weeds and, you know, keeps moisture in the soil. And it just works out and they all give you all that labor for free. And um, it's amazing. It's a really amazing combo. And I don't know that we could work that into the game, but if we could, I think that would be really cool. And um, yeah, it was just really inspiring. It was an interesting um, kind of timing. I was reading about that and then all this common ground stuff uh, came along. So yeah, I thought that was cool. Well, we did say, so when you mentioned that, I think we said, well, we can have a single crop. That is the three sisters, mm -hmm. like with the but with the tech that we have right now in the game, it could be corn beans and squash, and it could be something like well, it produces corn that can be, it's a crab that can be grabbed, mm -hmm. and beans and squash could be basket, you know, since we have the consumer effect mechanic, so it could be something like that. Otherwise, we have to build a new mechanic to provide different crafts mm -hmm. at the same time. But yeah, there are, there are ways around that for providing that to the game. That's cool. Yeah. Um, hmm. I wonder if any of our listeners, uh, if they, if there's any particular crops they want to see, I know we, we don't actually have corn in the game. Uh, I think one odd gent maybe would want a pizza crop, which just grows pizza <laughs> on, a, on trees. Gosh, if I could grow a pizza tree in my yard, <laughs> oh my God, that would be so awesome. I think that's, uh, you know, Todd's dream right while a gem stream y yes <laughs> uh yeah that's that's about it that's all that was on my mind as far as new stuff yeah we have uh hey guys we have some uh interesting props already in the game which are you know base elements tier one things um what other crop would you like to see uh, i know that we discussed coffee at some point uh which is another one of uh, oh man suggestion uh, but let us know. Like we are, um, as you know from a couple um, <clears throat> past AMAs, uh, we want to do both old and new competitions in a, in a set cadence. Uh, so any ideas you have for new potential events, you know, new themes, uh, we're all ears. Uh, we have, we may have a couple of things in the works, but uh, maybe it's too early to tell. But uh, yeah, let us know what crops you would like to see. Now that we are way more about farming with the scum and ground uh, rebranding. Let's see. I see some answers already. Let's see. Apple tree, orange tree, lemon tree. Oh, yeah. We can do, uh, you know, with apple trees. We have pies already, right? We have pumpkin pies. So we could potentially do apple pies. Yeah, we just have to get apple That'd trees. That'd be good. That sounds like a 4th of July kind of theme, though, right? Mm -hmm. uh, am I wrong? Is that something later on 4th of July? Yeah, I guess it's a summer thing. Let's craft Cinnamon. beer I'm getting. <laughs> uh, oh, we could have all the ingredients one by one to make pumpkin spice lattes. You know, I looked into pumpkin yeah. spice since it is the season to see what the ingredients were. And there's a lot of ingredients in pumpkin spices, not even pumpkin and pumpkin spice. It's like all spice, cinnamon, nutmeg, and one other spice mixed together. There's yeah. not even pumpkins in it. 
Let's see. Chocolate cinnamon. Need ice cream for apple pool. I'm guessing that's pie. But yeah, apple pie. Oh, corrected. Okay. Potatoes to make fries. Potatoes would be nice, right? There's a bunch of things to do with potatoes. I do love potatoes. I think it's the Irish in me. <laughs> All right, let's move on to what's next here. Um, do we have any art? I don't think we have any in-game art. Uh, we don't today. Uh, Sage is out. Uh, I think it uh, has a family emergency. But uh, as you can see, uh, we do have in the stream, we have restyled everything to be common ground world. That's uh, uh, the magic of... Uh, I always forget, should I say just Paul? <laughs> Pete's uh, in our ears here. And he's done a great job rebranding everything for the town hall, uh, Common Ground World Town Hall. Um, and that's been going on. Uh, uh, Ninjas Rush, I think that you've also been doing that or will be doing that for all social media. Uh, so we released a new game, but there's a slower rollout of changing. Um, the branding and the images and potentially you know we're buying a bunch of uh sites too which check out common ground of game for example uh, for our landing page um so yeah a lot of work done in that regard uh the art resale is moving forward though so uh now that we have the uh, the rebranding out uh i think one of the next steps will be to put the art style finally in the game uh, even though we don't have all the buildings ready uh, it's an ongoing process we want to put out what we have and then keep iterating on that. So that's the news on art. Let's move on to game updates then. Game updates. Okay, so that's me. Uh, let's see. Uh, Not all fixes this week. Uh, well, we did one release in, uh, last Friday, uh, late last Friday, and that uh, added a missing limit to ornament buffs. Uh, so that there was a fix there. And then for features, well, it was, you know, a lot of things, but uh, let's go one by one. First, we added the Common Ground game mode. Uh, as you know, that's slower pace and has this new tile type. Um, by the way, the new tile type, I, I was interested to hear, would you like to see a competition where you may have to uncover some space? You know, like, I know that the, the competitions are fast paced, but it could be interesting to say, like, you don't have the whole board, you just have a little bit. And, and you can expand quickly, uh, maybe try to reach the river or something like that. So let us know what you think about uh, the common ground game with uh, soil tile uh, being in competitions. Uh, so common ground game mode was uh, was put out. Uh, we have the uh, tried, uh, sorry, trade unit timer. When you click on them, will indicate how long until they come back. That was something that you guys requested. It's out. I think it's pretty awesome. It's pretty informative, especially for new players. Uh, we added a very simple tutorial system for new players. Uh, it, uh, you know, takes them through the very basic steps of, uh, you know, buying um, a wheat field and setting up a lumberjack and, uh, you know, then coming back and selling stuff. Uh, so we need to gauge the effect of that tutorial for new players. And keep iterating on that but it's finally out uh we added gala chain support and i know that this might be divisive for some because um even though our two latest nfts which are the first in gala chain uh, are available there were a couple of eve nfts that kind of got lost in that transition we have a fix for that today uh it should go out but please be uh you know if you see any other missing nft after that update let us know and we'll debug that as soon as possible. So a bunch of NFTs got missed in the Gala chain, uh, in the change to the Gala chain support, but that will be fixed today. Uh, we added the Super Farmer Cape and uh, also the store now lists items, uh, buildings uh, by price ascending, not alphabetical. So I don't know how if you guys want or don't want that part, but I can tell you that it was very necessary for the uh, more casual common common ground game mode. Why? Because you know we were we were testing the flow and we we're saying, hey new player, um, you know you need to buy wheat and they opened the store and they couldn't find it right away. Right. So by sorting by um, by sorting by price, 
they immediately find the thing that they can afford. And it also gives them a progression, right? They, they can immediately see, oh, okay, I can afford this. And the next thing that I can afford is that, you know? Uh, so I think that's a, a, a great change for um, the new game mode. But if you have any issues with that, please let us know. Or if you want an option to change it, uh, that's something that we can also discuss. Um, so yeah, just give us your thoughts and we'll, uh, we'll talk about it. Then for data, we added the composting facility NFT. Uh, that's uh, at level one. You know that we uh, will be working on the upgrade system for this thing, but for now it's level one. That provides a 10% boost to, uh, to speed of, of crops, surrounding crops. So that's one tile uh, effect. And at max level, it will be 20% uh, boost to speed of crops in a three tile radius. The Common Ground Academy is also out. Uh, that thing uh, will be similar, kind of similar to the uh, research center uh, that was in the old game. Um, so that's all. That's also a future feature, but the buildings are already available. Uh, it will have a time boost. They will have a certain period of time where they work. Let's say something like, you know, increase worker speed by X percentage for five minutes or something like that, right? And it will have a cooldown in between boosts. So it's uh, it will be pretty interesting to have that uh, working uh, when we get to that. And we added the Anything Goes competition and test competition, even though we had to move it, you know, we, we had the competitions on uh, over the weekend and then throughout the week. And then uh, what's coming up next for the game? Uh, let's see, we have, uh, uh, Things that are more immediate, we have fixed fish to galaxy integration, as I said before, that should enable uh, hopefully all, but probably most NFTs that are missing or were missing in the, in the transition to Gala Chain. Uh, I'm adding another test vanilla competition for tomorrow. So Saturday to Monday, we'll have a test competition again uh, for you to test with the new NFTs uh, that were added and the proper competition for next users that, that will be rewarded. Um, and then for features, now that Common Ground World is out, we have an engineer working on the abandoned town from outside town feature again. Uh, we were working on that. We had to halt it to do a couple of things. Now we're back to it. So hopefully very soon you will be able to just abandon a town in casual mode or in a competition, uh, you know, from outside. You don't have to go through waiting for um, um, fast forward to kick in. Uh, so expect some more quality of life improvements very soon. Uh, we also have someone working on box integration in preparations for earnings. Uh, as we have discussed before, box uh, assets are not in game. Uh, they're just too big to have in game. So they are loaded remotely. So we have someone already working on loading that remotely um, so that we can uh, enable box and everything that entails uh, that entails uh, mainly earnings, town points, and so on. Uh, and longer term, our roadmap will include two main things. So the two main things that we'll be working on, aside from other little things, are the upgrade system for new NFTs. So we want all new NFTs to be upgradable. And the second one is the guild and social features related to nodes. So those will be our main focuses uh, moving forward. So that's what's, uh, what went out and what can you expect uh, short-term and long-term from the game team. Oh, I think that's a lot of information. Are there any questions regarding that, Farmer Michelle or Volker? Any new surprise? Uh, most of the questions that I saw were about the store sorting, people asking if they could get a, an, an option to sort it either alphabetically or by cost inside the game. Uh, which I'm sure will be a feature in the future, just is not there currently. And then some other questions about Gala Chain. Um, Gala Chain integration in the game is live, so if you'd like to convert your NFTs to Gala Chain, you certainly can. Um, some of them won't need to be on Gala Chain. It'll just be for earning NFTs and upgradable NFTs. So I wouldn't like transfer all of your NFTs to Gala Chain if you don't want to yet. Maybe take your time with it. Um, those are really yeah. the only other questions I saw. Yeah, right now there's no need to move anything to Gala Chain, but be aware that all new 
NFTs will be uh, native to Galachain. I see a question from Dream. He says, we need the main NFTs at the top and all the storages at the bottom. Uh, what what does constitute, uh, what is main NFT? Like, how would you define that? Uh, there are a lot of conversations that we can do. Um, you know, some other games have uh, a favorite system. So... Yeah, I think a favorite system would be good because uh, like you just said, someone said they wanted their storage at the bottom and I would prefer my storages up at the top because I'm constantly putting down those tiny little storages and moving them around and all of that. Right. So that, yeah, what, what constitutes main NFTs changes a lot for people. Uh, a, a favorite feature is very simple in general. It's like, you know, you go through them and there's like a little heart or star, you click it and then those become the top ones. Um, so those are the kind of quality of life improvements that we're looking for now, um, for software engineers while we have the rest of the team working on the big things. Uh, so that's, that's an interesting thought. Uh, dream is saying, I like when you call him Mr. Bullcrum, uh, you know, <laughs> unless, unless someone tells me Mr. Bullcrum is my dad. I, I think that's oh my goodness. <laughs> Uh, let's see, uh, but, um, Red Fox, how a, a favorite NFT of that's definitely what would you said? It would be interesting to have that. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Uh, sort options, yeah, we want to have sort options for both uh, the in-game store and the uh, um, NFT list. Uh, will TS Box have in-game use aside from earning? Um, th that hasn't been discussed. Uh, as far as I know, there's there's no there's no particular promise for Box NFTs having utility. Apart from the town points, is that correct, Armando? Uh, no specific plans have been made. Yeah, but you can expect them to um, have the same amount of town points as last time, uh, since uh, since there are, um, changes made to uh, town points in January, I think, or December. So uh, town points are going to be untouched. And they will play a part in the earnings mechanics. Uh, so that's why we're working on on box right now. Choo -choo. Let's see. You know, maybe we can move on to the next uh, topic. Uh, I think we're moving right on to nodes. To nodes. Well, so nodes is the uh, is a big one, right, guys? Uh, we have that, we have that post up, uh, we announced it to all of this court, uh, nodes is a big priority for us and for Gala as a whole. It's pretty cool what, what can be done or the, uh, features that can be built around nodes. Um, so, uh, everyone saw the blog post about Townsend nodes the other day and everyone has been asking mainly about dirt, right? So what does it do? How do I get more of it? So. Well, the answer to uh, some of these questions will come in time with the release of more complete tokenomics, uh, papers, slide papers, and so on. Uh, we can tell you that the one, uh, one of the things that DIRT does is reward node operators. Uh, so I don't know if you guys have checked, up, uh, checked out uh, Popcorn in Gala Film, but it's pretty close to that. So um, we recognize that Townstart node holders have been more than patient with their nodes. Um, most of uh, many of them operate them daily, so they've been up for a long time. Uh, so in our announcement, we announced that each node will receive one dirt per day of operation uh, once they are converted to NFTs. And you know, there's this um, uh, this other team in Gala is working on converting licenses to NFTs so they can be traded more easily. Uh, so once that happens, they will receive dirt as well, but at a different ratio that needs to be determined. Uh, but the main question that we hear is what about the last year and a half, right? So uh, we we stopped earnings last year and these uh, nodes have been running, many of them have been running for this whole time. So in recognition of that fact, 
and in support of the community, we are happy to announce that within the next three weeks, those who own nodes will receive 450 dirt per node, right? So that's uh, one for each day since earnings have been turned off. So we will also be uh, begin awarding dirt daily going forward from the date and retroactively at least 60 days before that date, right? So uh, just to clarify, you will get 450. Uh, for everyone who owns one node will get 450 per node. Um, and uh, from a certain date onwards, you will receive one dirt per day of the node being uh, operational. Is that clear enough? Am I making sense? <laughs> um, so uh, essentially all node owners get something because we understand how frustrating the experience has been. Uh, but those who have been running their nodes and contributing to IPFS get more, right? So that's uh, that's the IPFS feature that we released uh, some time ago. So more information we'll release in the near future about Dirt and its role within the common ground world economy. But suffice to say, we recognize that you guys have gone through as uh, we have pivoted for the game. Uh, we have pivoted the game and we want to make sure you are engaged and excited as we push into the next phase of development. Um, so Townstar, now Common Ground World, has always been at the forefront uh, of what we at Gala Games are doing, and this isn't going to change in the future. So we look forward to seeing Common Ground World grow as the message of regenerative agriculture spreads around the world. Uh, you know, the film is, um, is, is moving through festivals and it's uh, expanding in the U.S., uh, so we expect that to keep going. I see some comments that um this should be in writing it will be in writing but uh i'm gonna repeat it here it's gonna be in youtube it's 450 dirt per node in recognition of the time that that uh, earnings was turned off and then one dirt um per day of uh of nodes running being operational which is very similar to gala film so again check out popcorn uh the equivalent to dirt from gala film and what is dirt well that's the next question, right? Dirt is essentially uh, a tracker or a pseudo uh, a database item, right? Or database uh, currency. And what it means is that at some point we'll say, you know, we're gonna we're finally ready to release uh, potentially a token, right? An actual token, cryptocurrency. And we'll say, well, uh, there's a equivalence between dirt and this cryptocurrency, so everyone gets, you know. Uh, their amount of dirt taken and replaced with the cryptocurrency. Um, so expect that to happen, uh, at least the dirt distribution is going to happen in the next three weeks. Uh, and uh, you'll get more information about a potential token when the light paper goes out. So that's the information on, the, will be expanded information on those because a lot of that information is in the blog post. In terms of functionality, you know, what we're saying here is nodes will act as your gateway to host guilds, which ties into social mechanics and competitions. Um, there will be essentially a vault inside each guild that will receive regular airdrops uh, of materials, including potentially upgrade materials. And uh, the, the, uh, the node owner is essentially the guild master he can move those resources around. So he can say, hey, you know, these guys in the guild have done great. They get these many resources and these guys didn't do shit. <laughs> so he gets nothing. So he, he controls those resources, but they all work together to, um, to add those resources to the vault. So that's one aspect. The other aspect is we want to finally give utility to farm bot and trade bot and those things. So those will be slotted into the guilds, right? And provide uh, some passive effects to all guild members, right? In, in different instances of competition. Um, so that's like the general information going a little bit more in depth. Um, expect uh, the roadmap for this thing uh, in the next couple of weeks. Uh, you know what, what we're building? We just need to put some dates to it, some expected dates. And um, the light paper part of that is in the works, as I said before. Uh, we have that 
uh, meeting every day with Bitbender and other people in the company to make that happen as soon as possible. Farmer Michel or Mr. Vulcan or Ninja Surprise, do you see any questions regarding what I just said? Uh, I see a question that says, do these node owners that shut off their nodes for the last year also get to receive the 450 dirt? So um, I think there's, um, I need to confirm that with Bitbender. Uh, so that's when I said that uh, it's in discussion. As far as I understand, everyone will receive 450 dirt per node. Uh, with potentially some rewards for uh, for um, increased rewards for people who have them have have them uh, available and running. Um, there's also a plan which is detailed in the blog post, which is uh, a, a change of cost essentially to the nodes, and we're gonna give more node licenses according to how much you guys paid. Right, so uh, we're gonna uh, price it at a thousand, and if you pay four thousand, you get four node licenses. Once that thing goes uh, and transforms into an uh, into an NFT, then you can, you know, if you don't want more than one because you composition around one guild, um, you can sell those things, trade them, or do whatever you want with them. So I think that's pretty cool. Like we are uh, handing uh, more node licenses. That will become NFTs like pretty soon uh, into your hands. Any other questions? I saw one question. If there was um, <clears throat> any ETA on the um, the one thousand K, uh, sorry, the the one thousand um, node sale. I'm sorry. Can you repeat that? <clears throat> um, I said I saw one question in the Discord uh, about if there was any sort of. Um, ETA like um like if there was any sort of like estimated date for the sale of the uh, the new nodes. The sale no so we're not um the one thousand not... uh, dollar um uh, common ground node sale that that's what they were asking. Uh, so we're not saying that we're we're selling them at a thousand. We're not we're not necessarily going to do a great sale, right? What we mean is that we're um... it's a drop, right? Yeah, it will be a drop. Yeah. Um, I'm, I need to check that with the uh, with the chain team with the rest of the company. Uh, we'll get you all the information as soon as we can. Uh, but yeah, so you will get as many licenses as thousands of dollars you pay for for your nodes right now. Um, and once that becomes an NFT, then it will be pretty easy for you to just move it around, you know, trade it, sell it, and so on. Any other questions? We're in the topic here of notes, guys, which ties heavily into tokenomics. So any other question? I see one from Dash Riprog. Is the share NFT feature the new rental system? Um, so the thing that you need to understand is the, uh, the share NFT will be kind of like this, right? Uh, you as a node owner, you have your guild and you can have people come in. Now, how you let people into your guild, that's up to you. Is it free? You charge them something? That's up to you. So you get them into your guild and you as someone who potentially has a bunch of really cool NFTs, you can put them in the guild, you know, kind of like stake them in the guild and then they can be checked out um, by only one person, of course, right? Because these are unique and be used in competitions, right? So the idea is, and we'll have competitions. The competitions, uh, apart from having the single leaderboard, they will have a competition leaderboard. Uh, so there's potentially uh, a track load of resources um, to be given away to positions one, two, three, and so on of guilds, right? Just like it happens now with uh, single people. And so the idea is that guilds will work together and you can share those NFTs. Uh, your teammates, uh, guild members can grab them in an efficient manner, use them, you know, get them back. And then uh, as you uh, get the better positions in the leaderboard for guilds, you will get a, a big truckload of resources uh, into your guild vault, right? And that can be distributed as you guys see fit. Um, so, 
that's the way in which you will be able to share your NFTs with your guild and your guild members. I think it's going to be pretty cool. Um, I'm hoping to have a bunch of items to be given away, especially upgrade materials, as we've discussed that ties into the uh, upgrade system, uh, the leveling system for NFTs. Uh, so ideally, you know, you can potentially buy some upgrade materials, but wouldn't it be cooler to earn them, right? To get them as rewards. So potentially the best way to upgrade your NFTs will be to be part of the guild. Any other questions? I'm sorry? Uh, there must be a question on YouTube. Oh, there's a question in YouTube? Let's see what it says here. Uh, uh, the question says test competitions don't get rewards. And the answer to that is yes, uh, test competitions do not have any rewards. Yeah, so just, okay, that's not related to what we're talking about now. <laughs> but let's just clear that up. So uh, test competitions don't give rewards. Uh, the competition this week was canceled. We leave, we left it on for you guys to practice, um, but it won't have rewards. The competition tomorrow will be a test competition too, so it won't have rewards. And then Tuesday, uh, the competition will be rewarded. So that competition... Um, uh, will be exactly the same as the past three, you know, in the sense of uh, biome and so on. So we haven't touched that at all. Uh, let's see other questions. How many NFTs can I share with one node per day? So those NFTs are shared with the guild. Um, and the number is is to be determined. Are, this, are there fees associated with lending, renting? Uh, as far as I know, everything in Gala Chain has pretty low or non-existent gas fees. Uh, so as of right now, there should be any gas fees associated with that. And if you're asking if we're gonna take a cut, uh, as far as I know, right now it's not considered. So that shouldn't be on the table right now. Uh, what marketing is being done to take advantage of this CG partnership? Where can we see it? So there's a lot of, um, um, ideally in the, uh, in the screenings, there's, uh, um, there's advertising, bringing people back into the gallery ecosystem. Uh, that's for both film and us, right? So there's a, a film hub for common ground, uh, where people can go and, and buy more, you know, buy the pay it forward tickets and they can also get redirected here. So there's more to be done there, uh, but uh, basically in every screening, there's um, uh, there should be redirection back into Gala and to buy the NFTs and play the game. Uh, but as I said before, we have uh, weekly meetings now with the filmmakers, not as Gala film, but we'll have that as common ground world, right, the game. Uh, so ideally, as we talk to them and define new mechanics for the game that are closely associated with their themes and what they want to share, uh, we'll get more and more exposure to that. Uh, where, is si uh, where is SageMaker? As I said before, he has um, uh, he's dealing with some family matters right now, so that's why he's not here. Uh, let's see. Do you guys see other questions? See, a lot of people seem confused about the the nodes and the guilds thing, thinking that what is it, one guild, one node, oh, let me try to figure out how to word the question properly. Uh, can a guild run more than one nodes associated with that guild? Like if there are, you know, 15 people in a guild that all have nodes they'd like to put NFTs on, all of the guild can share all of that. They don't need to have you know, 14 different guilds amongst them. They can all work uh, together as one guild. So it's uh, basically, if you're running one node, uh, at least one node, you can set up a guild, right? Uh, and people who want to participate in a guild, you know, they don't need to run a node of their own. But the fact that you are hosting the node and you're hosting the guild, means that you can invite people in or accept people into your guild. 
uh, the absence of notes is something that we're discussing in the sense of, you know, can we make these notes uh, or these guilds uh, be upgradable in some way, you know, be uh, better with more nodes running. So we're talking about those features, right now, but I don't have a hard answer right now. The, the thing that you need to know is you need at least one node running to be able to host your, um, your guild. And that's the main thing. Now, once we discussed, we were actually discussing these edge cases yesterday. Like, hey, this thing will be an NFT. So what if the NFT has the information of the, the guild, right? So potentially you could say, you know what? I'm tired of being the guild master of, you know, guild, whatever. Uh, I can trade it or sell it to somebody else and they can take care of this deal from now on, right? Now, that doesn't mean that notes will exclusively be about guild. You know, one thing that we've discussed is, well, we have other potential functionality for nodes. Maybe you can differentiate them, right? You can say, I want this node to be my guild, right? I want this other node to be this other feature that we're talking about. So there's potentially going to be more uses which are exclusive to node holders um, coming down the pipeline. But I don't want to get ahead of myself because we need to build this thing first. Yeah, I think it's the word guild that's throwing people off because they're imagining their guilds like, you know, Gem and NLO and Dub where they have hundreds of people. These, we're talking about like smaller groups of people, not like the whole node is per a hundred something people. You don't need, you don't need to go out there and have a hundred people assigned to each node individually for all 14 of your nodes. Uh, so, um, the number of uh, potential guild members is something to discuss. Usually, they're not, like, in any game, they're not so big, like 100 people or so on. Um, so, expect a limit on how many people can be part of the guild. But imagine it this way. So, I'm going to explain it in a different way. If you're a node owner and your node is, is not assigned to any functionality, right? you can go into the game and you'll see a uh, guild interface. You get in there and says, hey, you can create a guild because you have a node running. Right? Uh, so you do. If you create a guild, you get a name, you get a description, you may choose an avatar for it. And then you have your guild. And uh, you can tell some people, hey, come join my guild. Uh, we'll, we'll kick everybody else, else's butt, <laughs> right? Uh, because now competitions will have prizes for individuals and prices for guilds, right? Um, so people can join the thing up to a certain limit and they will work together to accomplish certain tasks or beat everybody else in the competition. And that guild will also have a bolt, right? And that bolt will get, you know, any rewards that the guild gets will be stored there. And also they will get regular airdrops just for running their nodes, you know, they will get materials and other items thrown into that bowl. And then the guild master, what he can do is say, well, you know, I'm going to reward everybody by distributing these resources according to, you know, evenly or according to how much they participated, you know, they'll get information about how much each person contributed uh, to different tasks and so on. So it's like a very typical guild or alliance system that you'd see in a free-to-play or mobile game, right? So it's closer to that, if that's the question. Are there any behind. other questions? <laughs> yeah, we're a little behind, but uh, let's see. Yeah, okay, so let's go on to some leaks. Uh, yes. So I have a little video here. Uh, it's more than a link because it shows everything. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see, let's see. I think it's this one. So I'm putting it in Discord. Are you showing it in uh, YouTube? 
Mr. P? Yeah, it's showing there. So uh, what you're seeing is um, some Halloween assets are coming. Uh, very soon, well, you know, the Halloween is right around the corner. I think the art team did a pretty good job. Uh, it's a haunted theme park uh, kind of theme. These things are going to be so awesome to see in game. The Ferris wheel is so cool. That possessed puppet is really cool, and the, the clown in the box. I like those too. Yeah, we have the Triloquist puppet. dummy is a little bit scary, yeah. Yeah, that was pretty creepy. <laughs> Looks like, kind of like Pee Wee Herman, too. <laughs> creepy clown house is scary, too. I like the animation on the roller coaster. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's really cool. cool. Some of okay. these will probably just be in-game decorations and some of them will be NFTs. Uh, we'll definitely have more information coming out as we get closer to Halloween. Yeah, definitely. So the big ones are going to be buildings and the other ones are going to be decorations. Okay, let's go on to the next week. Um, we have the, um, the retention NFT, right? Yes, Sorry, I have uh, believe... noisy neighbors. Uh, I don't know if you can hear people hammering and drilling. We have art ready for the Coco Storage NFT, which was the NFT for everybody who played or ran their nodes in the month of September. There yeah, it is. I just posted it in Discord. Uh, it's appearing on the screen in the stream, but it's essentially, um, it's not final art, but it's very close uh as as you know guys we have um some new art team members um and they're pretty good so they're doing a great job uh of you know getting on top of the things that we need to build well uh, i think that we are maybe too late for q and a uh why don't we go to um sales so regarding sales we still have the pack app uh up there uh composting facility and common ground academy uh, for 10 bucks, they're available both in the site and also um, in our landing page uh, with credit card support. So if you want to use credit card, go to commonground.game. Um, any changes to the competition, uh, Ms. Farmer Mitchell? No, the competition is going to be the same as it would have been last week had it gone on. So the, the biome is the same. All the, the meta changes are the same. Nothing else is changing this week. So it's, yeah, it's exactly the same as it, it would have been had it started this last Tuesday. Okay, so same information for that. You know that the uh, the Coco Storage is gonna be the retention NFT. I uh, hope you guys like it. It's gonna be out, you know, soon, soonish. And uh, we have a couple of minutes for some of the questions from the forum. So which questions do, you ha do we have, Michelle? Oh man, there were so many this week. There's like some weeks there are no questions at all. In other weeks there are like 35 questions. Um, let me see if there's any that we didn't answer. We answered questions about dirt already. Uh, we answered questions about nodes and guilds. Nodes, this, most of these are nodes. Um, one that says the article about town nodes says something about them being home for old school bots does that change any functionality that they currently have in game or their town points or is it just something in addition to that uh so the only one that has functionality as far as i know is the crane bot which is a faster in-game builder uh the plan for the other bots is to slot them into the guild so they provide a passive effect to all guild members um, let's see if I have any other questions here. Uh, someone asked if we could have the research center back in the game because they were enjoying it. Uh, the Common Ground Academy, which is that new NFT that is for all of the game modes that's in that $10 bundle pack, that is basically the same as the research center. It's going to have the same kind of buffs as the research center used to have. It's going to 
you know, work in the same way. It'll probably be a token sync versus the way the research center was, which was more like a test for how the how buffs would work in the game. So that one you would have to make like a bunch of different ingredients to do it. Uh, this one may not be like that. It may just be in game syncs, but that'll also be upgradable. So you'll be able to have you know more than one buff. Yeah, the, the other thing to note is that those buffs will be uh, time limited, unlike yeah. the research center, which had infinite time, right? So this will last a certain amount of time and then have a, a cooldown. Now that we've mentioned bots, I see everybody asking about trade bot utility. As I've said almost every single week for <laughs> weeks and weeks and weeks now, trade bot utility is not going to be defined until we get Galachain crafting up and running. Uh, the reason we're deciding not to define utility until crafting is ready is because the there may be more in-game functionality at that point mm -hmm. when we get to when crafting is available and we wouldn't want to sell ourselves short and create a trade bot utility now and then find out yeah. when crafting is available that we could have done something much cooler at the time. So we're waiting there, until crafting to make it as but cool there, as possible. There are two things to note there, right? So two things of interest. So one is that uh, as we said the bots will be you can slot them into the running guild and that would provide an effect for every guild member which is something new and it's pretty cool right so imagine being able to say okay i'll slot the trade bot in and that will give everybody who's a guild member uh some benefit uh while that thing is there but then the other element is uh when crypto crafting right or you know however you want to call it and i can tell you guys that uh yesterday we started that, those conversations with the chain platform and no uh, no teams right to say hey can we get th this thing uh finally done in gala chain uh so that we you know we have people who have bot parts can we have them uh, build their bots uh, so that's an ongoing conversation. As soon as I have more information on that, I'll tell you uh, it is. We don't control that part, as Farmer Mijal has said. We don't build that element of the of the of the system. Uh, but we are pushing for other teams to uh, finish that as soon as possible. So those conversations are already started, um, and uh, I'm I have some meetings around that today actually. So uh, yeah, expect some news. I think that's pretty much all I have for live questions. I see we're basically out of time anyway. Um, I did see there was one other question in the forum about a different reward structure for the game. I think we mentioned it either last week or the week before that we did. Uh, we are like brainstorming on a different reward structure for the game, but it's not been approved yet. Uh, once it does get approved, we will for sure let you guys know if it gets approved. And that's all I've really got about a different reward structure for events. Okay, uh, Mr. Bulkran or Mr. Ninja Surprise, anything else to add before we wrap up? Nothing too much. Nope, you got it. Okay, so a lot of information, guys. I know that you want uh, more, always more information, more news. Uh, but I think, you know, the whole thing with nodes uh, and, uh, and the dirt currency i think it's gonna be pretty cool um and uh still working on uh, tying that up to our final tokenomics and light paper but the good good thing is that we have all the information we need right now finally how notes will work that's a big chunk of the tokenomics aspect so um i'm pushing to get that light paper on your hands hopefully next week uh, if everything goes well so if there's nothing